Hi Twinkies, uh, this is DecoArt1, aka Carla. Um, I'd like to just take a minute to respond to your video about what my channel would say about me. Um, and if uh, the world, and that was the only perception that the world had, had of me was the videos that I put out. Um, I would have to say that um, they might think that I was a very light-hearted and um, uh, kind person that um, liked beauty and I think all good things. I would have to say all good things. Um, I try not to talk negative. Well, not... I try not to be negative about anything. Um, I think everyone is um, definitely entitled to their own opinions. Uh, I know that there is a lot of negativity um, across the web on many different sites, including the YT. But that does not um, that does not uh, deter me from trying to just be myself and um, try to be a positive person. I think that um, I think everyone is entitled to their own opinions and and everything but I, I do think that people need to be more conscious of how they come across to um, the public as a whole. I, I try to to, to tell my child that um, uh, she has a tendency to be very, very outgoing and very boisterous, but at the same time, I want her to realize that, you know, sometimes people cannot, um, depending on their situation, might not be able to understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, I think that, uh, you know, there is a way to say everything. Um, that's one of the things my grandmother taught me about being able to say things. She could, she could just say something and people would listen to her and she never had to raise her voice and she never had to curse ever and, or anything, but she was very well respected. I think that that is um, uh, definitely a lesson that I've learned. Thank, um, thank goodness to my grandmother. But there's a lot of people out here that really don't have any coof uh, when it comes to their um, they the way they come across. And I think that that's very important to for people to to start thinking about what what they say and and you know consider who's listening consider who you know uh might take what they say the wrong way i mean i, I don't know it's just i think that people just need to be caring and that's what i try to do with my channel to be thoughtful of who might be listening to me. So, I always used to say when my daughter would act up um, after my mother's passing, I used to tell her, I want you to talk to me and other people as if you're talking to Nana. Because she was very well respected. She was very, she demanded respect. And she demanded, you know, uh, um, that level of, you know, courtesy that you do not, you know, disrespect. You do not, you know, uh, uh, come down uh, to talk to her as if she's one of your peers. You, you speak to her with the utmost respect. And, um, uh, and I think that if we just, as a, as a, a rate, as a, as humanity just speak to each person as if it's the person that they most respect I think we'd be better off take care